Welcome to 5minutetutorials.com. In this video, we are going to explain how to actually create and rig up your character to animate them in Flash. This tutorial will be uh, created in Flash CS6, but should work in all CS versions of Flash. I'm not going to explain how it is to create the character, as the character is pretty simple here. What we want to do is using the selection tool is click and drag across each individual shape here. You will notice that I did use the object drawing module. It is on. The outlines around each shape tell me that. And I want to go to modify and then click convert to symbol F8. Using the naming convention, uh, I like to use MC for movie clip and then the uh, descriptive word for what that is, in this case MC head. And I like to set the registration point wherever I think I want the uh, flash to actually hinge pin this particular object. Now I've got that created, the uh, plus sign there where my cursor is, that uh, actually tells me where the registration mark is, but you'll notice that the rotation point is actually above. The rotation point is where the uh, flash will actually rotate this particular movie clip from. Now to make things easier I'm going to make the rotation point the same as my registration mark by using the transform tool. I double click the rotation dot and now you'll notice that uh, when you select the object the rotation dot is the same now as the registration mark so flash will animate from the registration mark but it will also rotate from the registration dot and those are the same location let's repeat that process for each one of these shapes now so I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut push F8 this is MC I'm going to do left arm upper use descriptive words here. I want to anchor this in the top right hand corner since that's kind of where I'm going to hinge it there. Hit Q and then double click and now my registration mark is up there as well. Go to the next one. Hit, hit F8. Once again MC left arm lower and I'm going to keep the same registration mark there. Now you would repeat this process use the Q there to set your rotation point for the rest of these shapes there. I'm going to jump ahead in the video and come back once I have all that done. Okay, I've got all my movie clips created now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here just so that we can see. Now I'm going to go ahead once again remind you that uh, to set the registration dot in the same place as the, as the registration mark you use the free transform tool and you double click and now those are all set and you can do this very quickly um, once everything has been uh, set up already. Now, in a couple of these places, the registration point and dot will need to be modified slightly. So I'll explain how to do that next. So in this case here, I have it set up there. And when I rotate this arm shape, for example, you'll notice that it, it hinges right off of there. But uh, I'm, I may want to do something a little bit more accurate than that. To uh, reposition this you need to have the selection tool selected double click I am now inside of this movie clip called left upper arm and then I'm going to drag my arm around you see that is locked in place but I can drag my movie clip around and anchor it just right in the middle or wherever you choose to do that okay and now that arm has been moved there and I can position that right where I want it I hit Q to test it out now when I rotate you see in this case it's a little bit too far out I can reposition it that's looking good there I'm going to do the same for this one now with my V tool I'm inside the MC movie clip left arm lower and I'm going to now drag this around just to make it a nice easier place for me exit back out by going to scene one drag this up there and you may want to switch to outline view here so you can get a better idea of how much you're overlapping each one of these shapes there so there's a nice amount of overlap uh, right through there and go back to regular view just like that so think about it always try to position uh, all of your shapes your registration mark your rotation point wherever it's going to be convenient now I am inside the movie clip right upper arm so once you're inside the clip you can't actually move that that rotation point you do need to be outside of that particular point and you'll notice that it has in fact been set so I'm going to reposition this just like so, exit out, and then drag this up now. There we go. And the last thing we need to do now is our lower legs. Once again, switch to outline view so it's easier to see. It's a little harder to drag these around in outline view because you get all these free transform. So it's, you know do whatever is convenient or easy for yourself there. So now this character has been uh, positioned. One thing here you'll notice that uh, 
once you do have two objects selected if you select two objects and you have your transform tool another rotation point appears this is a temporary rotation point that can be moved in, around just so you can move two objects at the same time so that's another option you get that rotation point that temporary one goes away once you deselect the final step that we need to do now is to select everything here and what we want to do is to create a whole movie character clip so MC character and this particular movie clip will actually have the entire character here now that we have this I want to double click and enter inside of there and I have all my movie clips in place I want to right click and distribute to layers and now you'll notice that everything has been spread out onto separate layers so that you can animate it individually this is 5minutetutorials.com. Make sure you watch the rest of the Flash character animation videos, and the best compliment is always a referral. Thanks again.